What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. I have with me a friend of mine, Jules, and he brought his Tesla. That's right, I got a Tesla sitting in my driveway. World's coming to an end, let me tell you. Jules, all right, so you're here to convince me that Tesla is a much better car than something like this, oh, totally. right? Totally much better car. What do we have here? Which, uh, what model is this now? So this is a 2020 Tesla Model Y. So dual motor, all wheel drive. It's got the performance upgrades package. Pretty cool. Uh, so you spec'd it out this way with the blue and like the blacked out wheels and stuff. I normally don't see them with black wheels. They're... When they transitioned to the Model Y, they kind of went blacked out everything. Okay. So when you get the performance package, you kind of don't get a choice in your wheels. So those are the wheels you get. Yeah, obviously I'm not a big Tesla guru, so you're gonna have to school me here. All right, what's under the hood? The frunk. The frunk, there's a motor, but you can't see it. What are you doing with your phone? With my phone, yeah. Oh my God. Everything is on the phone. You can control the whole entire car. From the phone so you don't have a fob or what i have no fob they give you a little key card so if you don't use your phone you can use the key card but it's a pain in the butt so i just oh use the phone gosh. it's a lot easier as long as your phone doesn't die you're always good wow that's wild so okay a large trunk in the front and you can put all your stuff in so you got one thing to fill and that's one your windshield fill, wiper fluid. and that's it that's the fireman's loop so if i'm in an accident they need to they're supposed to cut that firefighters know that yeah. i'm assuming they, they're they trained to that, that. I sh this pops off here Oh, and it's over. Oh, they yeah, cut so this. They just cut that, and then it takes care of everything. So that's your kill switch for the that's car. The kill switch for the car. And wow. If you cut that. It's like a thousand dollars to fix. So what a wire. Thousand dollar wire. Yeah. yeah thanks, Tesla. Elon. Now you had one before this, right? I've had five Teslas. Oh, okay. Well, so you're no stranger to Tesla I'm now. No stranger to Tesla. So in your mind right now, which is the best one so far? Model Y. This Hands one. Down. Okay. Hands down. Like I said, I, I do like the blacked out look. I like it because um, I'm not a huge chrome guy on certain vehicles, and like. That's cool. My back Tesla emblem, which is not there right now. I have you buy gas. Oh, look, look at that. Yep. Go open the tailgate. Watch, watch it not open. Was there a button under here? Button underneath. It kind of catches a little bit on the passenger side. I wonder so. why that is. Yeah. Legendary build quality. These are affordable though, aren't they? I mean, what? So they actually did just do a price reduction. You can get the uh, long range all wheel drive for I think it's thirty seven thousand. Right yeah. Now. See, that's for for that's definitely SUV. affordable. Yeah. Electric 200 and I think or no 316 miles of range for that one. Yeah, so you got all these different These are all different and... adapters So if okay. I ever want to do home charging so people will probably see the three-prong driver oh, yep. outlets yep. Or the uh, NEMA 1450 that's the standard the most common for electric vehicles We got all of our hookups in case hook you need to charge anywhere in the US oh, pretty much charge, yeah. right? All right, let's check out the interior and we'll go for a ride here. So this is interesting gotta push my thumb here. All right. I opened the door correctly. Yeah, there's not much to the cars inside. Giant glass roof. That's cool. That's real cool. Yeah. So the car is on now. Car's on. It turns on to like the climate, air conditioning, that kind of stuff turns on. To actually okay. enable it, you just put your foot on the brake. Now the car is ready to go. Oh wow. So that's okay. like start officially starting the car. You just push the brake. Just push the brake. Well, all right, I'm gonna buckle up because we're on this uh electric roller coaster now. <laughs> Alright, so setting off in the first drive, Tesla Model Y. Yeah, so it actually will put up uh Pictures of like cars and trucks and signs. Oh wow, look at that. What things the hell? that can recognize. So we're coming up to a stop sign and you can see, look, it's a stop sign. Okay, here's it's, another stop sign. It's probably gonna pick up this car and here. And there's a car in front of us, two cars actually, so you can see them right there. That's wild, look at that. It's really smooth though. It's smooth and quiet. Well, yeah, no engine, that's the funny part. I, I didn't even I wasn't even paying attention to that, but <laughs> yeah, no I engine. can't hear anything. <laughs> what tires are on here? They are a Pirelli uh, performance tire. I'm not sure the exact spec. So are there any like driving modes, like like touring, sport, or is there anything like that? Yeah, so there, there is two, there's two driving modes in this car. There is chill and sport. Chill, okay. Chill really cuts all the acceleration out of it. It's still spunky, but it's not like what I'm used to in a Tesla. Right. And then there's some steering modes. You can do like comfort, standard, or sport. Now, regenerative braking, I saw that. And that's what it does. And that's you, what it does. When you break it. Yeah, you charges. can actually do almost one pedal driving in this car. And I've and as you drive it every day, you learn like how long it takes to come to a complete stop. And Tesla just did a software update where once you come to a complete stop and one pedal driving actually puts on the hold mode and holds you at the stop sign or red light oh, until you, you press the accelerator to go again. Well, yeah, that's right, because there's not an engine that's constantly on trying to push the car forward. So you can just take your foot off the brake yeah. and it doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything. We're sitting here. So normally would the car drift forward if you take your foot off the brake? Yes, yeah, so you can actually change that. You can do like no, you know, drift forward, no, no, no safety stops or anything like that. Or you can actually do a creep mode where it'll creep forward like a like traditional a, gas a traditional engine. Car. All right. So is this like a launch mode or launch control? Yeah. Mode so this is like from from zero to launch. So it'll be a full launch. They haven't updated the software yet to have an actual launch mode like the Model S has. And it's all wheel drive, right? All wheel drive. All right. Here we go. Let's go. 
yeah, until it puts you wow. back in your seat. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty cool, yeah. No tire screeching, no, tire no screeching, nothing. nothing. That's the cool thing, it's like a stealth like pull. What is it zero to 60 time, do you know? Uh, between 3.2 to 3.5. All right, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we didn't get there because we had a car in front of us, but yeah, that was pretty quick. Like I said, you don't hear anything except the little whine of the- um, Electric the, motor. Electric motor, yeah. <laughs> they, they got it down, they got the launch down, that's for sure. Like not a lot of people understand, I mean I understand because I drag race, but not a lot of people understand like what it takes to make a car, especially on an unprepped surface like this road. The amount of time it takes and like the, the engineering it takes to make a car like accelerate that hard from a stop on the road and make it a factory car without modifying it or putting like not street legal tires on it and doing all this other stuff you know what i mean like that that's a that's a hard thing to do you see that in the new c8 they did that they have a really good traction control um for oh you are you letting it drive the car yeah i'm letting it drive and it's gonna stop at the red light here oh wow will it just drive straight or so what? i have to confirm once the light turns green I, it'll say you know pull down the stock or press the accelerator so i'll pull down the stock it'll turn green confirm and now we'll go through the light if there's a car in front of me and that light turned green it'll go automatically so it's like a really insane cruise control it's a really insane cruise control <laughs> right but not fully autonomous not fully autonomous now yeah. and you'll see that there's some areas where it kind of lacks in that they're still perfecting the software so it's just a you know a matter of time so Remote control car. Remote control car. Sort of. So we're gonna, we're standing here. We'll send the car, probably won't do a loop, but we're gonna tell the car to go over to there. And we'll just say, go to target. And let's hope it doesn't hit the pole. It's like, I see a pole. Now it's trying it again. And that's where you told it to go, right there. And that's where, I, yeah, I told it to go. It's gonna creep a little bit farther forward there and stop when it gets to the boxes. Oh my where, God, and wow, that's, that's where wild. I told it to go. So it, yeah, it ended up literally there. went there. Can you have it come to oh, us? Yeah, so now I'm gonna bring it back to us. Okay, it's going to reverse. Okay, it's backing up. There's nobody in that car right now. You mind you, we're not in the car. Obviously, with the tent, you can't really see. But. Elon Musk is driving it with his mind or wherever he's at. Okay. Oh, here it comes. It's really weird. I feel like it's gonna run me over. It's coming straight for us. Oh no, it's gonna yeah, come it's on like the side. For pedestrian. Look at that. And then. And it'll stop right there. And it came right to us. Well, that's kind of cool. I mean, that's really cool. I like it. All right. I want to drive that's it now. So I just put the on the foot on the brake. Oh, foot on the brake. And now you're on. And then to put it in gear, you just push down on the. Push Stop. down. Yeah, like hold down towards you. This is your, is this your first Tesla experience? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. So this is all new world to you. I sat in one car. The weirdest part so far has been when I let my foot off the accelerator, it stops. The throttle response is like way better too. And there's no changing a gear, or there's no gears in no this gearing. car. Right, so you don't feel that. So you're never in a bad spot. It's just kind of like- a one infinite. Yeah acceleration because you pull down the stock twice on the, the gear stock it'll put in autopilot mode what's that the it'll drive itself kind of two like yeah two quick pulls down so now it's driving itself and you I don't take your foot off the accelerator and it's gonna keep you in the lines and mind blown mind blown I don't even know what to do. <laughs> I feel like I should be doing something. I don't have to. So how do I disengage this? So disengage, foot on the brake, or just push up once? So, all right, we're going to try a launch control. Let me just put down, that's and it. And just hit it hard. Oh, wow. So you can hit it at any mile an hour, and it'll, it'll just And go. it has that pickup. Oh, it's yeah. a Mustang. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> oh, man, we're going to race this Mustang. <laughs> what is it, a GT5? 500. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. I think we had him. We had him. We, well, 
out. For we had him on the hit, and he had to catch up because this thing's instant. See, that was just fun. Because that was like, fun. I know you can I'm do not that trying, people. We're not trying to flex. We're in a freaking Tesla, right? Who cares if they beat us? It's the fun like, of it. It's more yeah, it's the fun of fun. it. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. I feel like I don't have to worry about anything breaking. No, that because I mean there's not much to break. And there's not much to drive either, right? You just hit the <laughs> pedal and go. It's like a little video game, right? It really is. Yeah. Which, you know, some people might not like. And I mean, I I don't want that to be all the time, right? So I want to actually be able to drive and feel the car and hear the car and everything like that and kind of control it, have more control of the car than the car has of itself. But this is still kind of cool because, like you said, on trips, normal driving, traffic. I hate driving through traffic. Yeah. So, like, if the car drives itself for me, yeah. I wouldn't mind, like, renting one for a weekend if I was, like, out, like, you know on vacation or, or something like that. I feel so lazy not even having to lift my foot off the, the uh, accelerator. Like, to, I don't even have to, I haven't had to put my foot on the brake for the past like 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. So how do you park it, just this? Just push that in. Park and then it's done. And then like, literally you just get out of your vehicle. You just get out and you let it, and it shuts off after a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so do you want to ride in a real car? I mean a real car? Yeah, real car. This car's been around for 51 years. 69 Camaro. Everyone's seen this on the channel, so I'm not gonna go over it, but uh, when we get in the car, I can talk about it a little bit. All right, so you actually have to start this car, and there's a process, because it's because it's carbureted. So you gotta set the choke, then you have to pump the gas two or three times. I'll do it three times just so I know it's gonna start. And it's gonna be, yeah. Be loud, a little louder. How do I open the door? <laughs> Press the button. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't automatically open or oh, anything. Dark. So seatbelt so right there. Pull right up. Oh. It's only a lap bar. Safety first. Well, yeah, it's safe. It's very basic, <laughs> okay? Well, lots of exhaust fumes, too. Yeah, that's the best part. Now, this car does have a quiet mode, so if you don't want it to be loud, So anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes. I always thought they took forever. That's they do if once you get to like a certain point. They after you get to like 50%, it starts slowing down. So if you need to top off or like if you're going a very far distance and you need to get that full charge, it will take uh, more time because you don't want to put too I much energy you. into the battery because you can cause a fire. So I got you. And the car figures all that out. Well, I had to figure out how much gas to put in here because this, <laughs> this is how it is. But you definitely get more looks, I feel, than I do in the Tesla. Yeah. Well, this car gets more looks than any car I've owned. And that's because it is what it is. It's loud, it's a classic. Yeah. And Even the Freedom Rock, I don't get as, as many looks in. Like, it's really? this car. That well, people look at it and they think like, what is that? Like, that's cool. But people look at this and they know what it is. And they know it's cool. And, and they, they just like, like, they haven't seen one in well, however long, you know? Yeah. Now obviously this car doesn't get software updates. 
right? You know, so like whatever range no. you get is a range you're stuck with. No, Elon doesn't send me software <laughs> updates <laughs> for this car. My software update is pulling the motor and putting something else in it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I wish this car would fill up with fuel every time I hit the brakes. That'd be nice. <laughs> Do you want to drive it? I'm probably gonna pass on that because I you feel like I, I, I feel like I would you're really like scared of like, a little scared of it. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a 2017, 2018. Yeah, no problem. But just because of the classic, I'm like, eh, you know. Yeah, it's got a good insurance policy, but yeah, I'd hate to. You're gonna go from like <laughs> the, the height of technology to like 50 years prior. It's literally like you're gonna get in a time machine. Yeah, you know? literally. I, mean, I feel like I'm in a time machine right now as a passenger. Yeah, but it's a really cool car. You know, I appreciate the opportunity to. Yeah. Like Camaro over. Corvette. Why Camaro over Corvette? Yeah, just out of curiosity. I mean, it's funny you ask that. Originally, I wanted a Corvette, you know? I guess I changed my tune a little bit because when I bought the first ZL1, the 2013, I really liked the car. My dad had one of these. He had a 69 Camaro. Obviously, I gravitated toward that car originally, that type of car. So when I got my first Camaro and then I got my second, then I was like, I have to own one of these because I always wanted one, you know? Yeah. And that's why I got that. Now I've driven Corvettes, I've been in Corvettes and like I still, I still gravitate toward the Camaro because of the fact that it's more of a car. The Camaro team was cool too, the last generation, because the last two generations really, they really didn't give a crap. They, they, they didn't care. They just went for performance over anything and they did it well, you know? So that's why the last two generations that I own, fifth and sixth, whereas the Corvette, I feel like always has to have a standard. They always have to have a standard and they have to be the best Chevy. Yeah, they do. Right? Whereas the Camaro, it doesn't matter. If they're not the best Chevy, it doesn't, but sometimes they are. There's when the ZL1, <laughs> yeah, when the, when the ZL1 came out, it was the best, you know? Now, since then, Corvette has done the ZR1 and now the C8, so they've topped that, obviously, but they're expected to. Whereas the Camaro has just been a cool car. It's that American classic <clears throat> right. cool car. Yep. So that's why I've always gravitated to that car and always wanted one of these. So look at this view. We got classic versus spaceship slash futuristic slash. Yeah. 51 years of difference. And honestly, at this point, like I don't really know which is better. There isn't really an answer for that because they're both completely different. It really boils down to what you want. Do you want the futuristic spaceship that can drive itself and do crazy stuff itself, sort of like a video game, or do you want a classic car that you have to drive, you have to maintain, you have to, you know, you have to pay attention to the car. Both really cool, so thanks for bringing it out, man. Oh, no problem, thanks cool. for having me. Yeah, I've, I've talked shit on Tesla like so for so long. <laughs> so much. And only for the reasons that I had stated in the video, which was like, yeah, this doesn't sound like anything. Yeah, okay, I get the performance, which I do and I love it. But like, you know, I gravitate toward that because it has the whole, it's the whole package, you know, it's the whole driving experience. Whereas like, that's cool because the technology experience, the advancements, the ease of driving experience, that's what I like about them. Yeah. That's what really appeals to me. If we're just going on performance, I'm gonna, gonna get a Tesla. I'm gonna yeah, get I something mean, that's, you know. It's gonna smoke most cars and. Right. All right, so big shout out to Jules. You got an Instagram. I do have an Instagram. He doesn't have a channel. Don't yeah. have a channel and I'm not gonna start one. I'm trying to convince him, but he won't do it. <laughs> I have enough going on. <laughs> yeah. Dude drives a Tesla and a Silverado, like, uh, and AT4. what else? AT4. Oh, it's an AT4. AT4. Oh, it's a GMC. <laughs> All the cars yeah. that I've owned. Yeah, go go follow his Instagram and check stuff out. So yeah, my truck Instagram is just Dirty Maxon. Okay, Dirty Maxon. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about both cars, about the Tesla and the Camaro. Obviously, I know what you guys think about the Camaro, but comparison-wise, and uh, which one would you own? If you had to pick one, which one would you own, and why would you own it? Leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. And as always, be sure to hit that subscribe button and have a great day.